Hello, and thanks for purchasing the FP4 Forward Press Wedge. We've got some quick tips that will help you get the best possible performance from your new club. The main thing to remember is that the Forward Press Wedge is designed to work best with an arms and shoulders motion that utilizes your big muscles. Instead of the wristy motion that causes mishits and inconsistency with traditional wedges. First, let's look at the traditional wedge swing. Because the hands and wrists are so active, the club head often passes the hands through the impact area, causing fat shots, thin shots, and inconsistent distance. Now, for the forward press wedge, a much easier method we call press, lock, and turn. This technique keeps the club moving down the target line much longer than a traditional wedge swing. You'll also strike the ball on a shallower attack angle, which greatly reduces your chances of catching it thin or fat, while increasing your consistency. And with 18 degrees of bounce, much more than a traditional wedge, the FP4 won't dig into the turf when your hands are well in front of the club head. Here's how to use the press lock and turn technique. To set up for a basic pitch shot of 15 to 20 yards, stand with your feet close together and the ball in the middle of your stance. Put a little more weight on your left or lead foot as well. Next, press your hands forward toward the target so that they're ahead of the club face. You can experiment with how far forward to place your hands to get solid ball then turf contact. A good rule of thumb is to set up with your left arm and the shaft forming a straight line to the ground. Okay, now you're ready to swing. As you take the club back, focus on moving the arms and shoulders without cocking your wrists too much. This will keep the club face square to your swing path and prevent you from coming down too steep at impact. Also, keep your weight on the left foot throughout the swing. As you swing down and through, make sure to rotate the shoulders toward the target while keeping your hands ahead of the club. This last part is critical. If you've seen Zach Johnson or Steve Stricker hit wedge shots, that's the action you want. You may notice that your pitch shots are slightly lower with the FP4 than with a conventional wedge. That's by design. The best wedge players, like Johnson and Stricker, hit their wedges quite low with tons of backspin. That's how they're able to control their distance so well. If you face a situation where you need a little extra height, simply move the ball slightly forward in your stance and make the same swing we went over before. The FP4 has plenty of loft to handle tight pins. Now let's go over a few of the many shots you can play with this versatile club. Here's a shot you probably face quite often. To play the pitch and run with your forward press wedge, set up with the ball centered in your stance, hands pressed slightly forward and weight favoring your left foot. Make a short back and through swing, keeping your hands ahead of the club through impact and abbreviating your follow through. The ball will land just on the green and release nicely to the hole. With a traditional wedge, you'd need Phil Mickelson's long, handsy swing and perfect timing to get this shot close. Luckily, you don't have to be Phil Mickelson with the FP4. Simply use your normal setup with the ball slightly closer to your left foot and make the arms and shoulders motion. Yep, it's that easy. Here's a similar shot from a little farther out where all you do is make a slightly longer swing and let the forward press wedge work its magic. With a little practice, you'll be saving strokes like never before using your forward press wedge, which also works well from the sand and rough. We hope you find these tips helpful and thank you again for purchasing the forward press wedge.